Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be doing another get ready with me video. I might also show you my outfit today since I kind of am liking it a bit. So uh, my last get ready with me video was quite popular and I figured it's that since I got so much good feedback with it that I would do another one. So I'm just going to talk you guys through what I'm doing, sort of just chit chat with you. So I'm going to start with a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes. I'm using the Maybelline Dream Touch Lumi Concealer in the shade Ivory. My label on this wore off. I don't know why, but every single time I touch it, it would just flake right off. So it has no label, unfortunately, but that's what this product is. Just going to run this underneath my eyes and then pat it in. This is a few shades lighter than my actual skin tone, so it really helps to brighten the area up a bit. After I've done that, I'm just going to a little bit of face concealing with the Rimmel Mesh Perfection Concealer. So my red spots that are over here are definitely getting a lot better. For a while there, they were just absolutely horrible and dry and just, oh god, it sucks so much. But they're healing a lot, and I think that may be because I changed up my skincare a little bit. Um, I changed up the moisturizer I was using and so I feel like it's helped because I didn't really have a moisturizer that I was really enjoying. So now that I've changed it up, I just find that my skin seems to be reacting extremely well to it. And I'm going to move on to the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. I don't know what it has on top of it, but uh, this is in the shade Fairly Light N10. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Kabuki brush, swirl a little bit of this in there, and then just buff this onto my skin. I really love this foundation for days where I don't really feel like wearing much product on my face because it's just so lightweight, but yet it covers well. Um, it just gives my skin an extra boost, but, you know, it's not like a liquid foundation that you tend to have to prime and set. This is just kind of like your all-in-one easy step. I'm just going to quickly comb through my brows real quick. Those are looking a little strange. Moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Lorac Pro palette today. I love this thing, and honestly, most days this is what I use, so... I'm going to start with an eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to use the primer it comes with, the Lorac Behind the Scenes eyeshadow primer. I really do enjoy this primer. It works a lot better for me than like Urban Decay Primer Potion does, so that's good. Urban Decay Primer Potion increases on me, so I can't really use that. I'm sorry if you heard that buzzing. My phone just went off. So I'm just going to pat this all over the lid, take it a little bit through my brows. That way, later when I put on a brow powder, that'll stay put as well as just a little bit underneath. Before I forget, I'm going to quickly spray down my face with a little bit of Max Fix Plus. I always do this whenever I use a powder foundation. I just find that helps to make everything look a little bit more natural and really blend the powder in with your skin. Dry! I'm going to start with the base today. I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Shadow Pencil, and this is in the shade um, Iced Mocha. I don't use this very often, so I kind of just wanted to pull it out since... I don't know, I just find that this is a product that gets kind of lost in my collection, and it is really nice. I just recommend applying a light layer of this because if you go too heavy, you'll notice that it will start creasing, so... My phone keeps on going off. I'm so sorry. Next, I'm moving on to the eyeshadow. I'm going to start with Garnet, which is like a rusty type of a color. I don't usually use this color, but I kind of want to try it today. <laughs> um, I'm feeling a little bit more ambitious with my makeup lately, and I just, I don't know. I just feel like it'd be a bummer if that was a color that I never used, so... I'm going to use this with a Sonia Kashuk Large Shader Brush. This is my favorite eyeshadow brush. I picked it up at Target when it was on sale, and I just picked it up on a whim because I saw somebody use it in one of their videos, and I was like, mm, I'll try it. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lid.
Next, I'm going to take taupe, which is this shade right here. It's just a medium brown color. I'm going to blend this into my crease using the brush that I always use, which is a Sephora brush, very similar to like a MAC 217. Next, I'm going to take the shade called Gold, and on my ring finger, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this and pop it right on the center of my lid like so, and then start to blend it right around the edges. So you get a little bit of a pop of a different color. I kind of like doing this every once in a while with these types of looks that are a little bit more smokier, and like this garnet shade is just so dramatic that it needs a little bit of just brightening, I think. I'm then going to take that same blending brush and just blend around the edges a bit. Next thing I'm going to do is take the shade called Pewter. It's right there. It's just a plummy taupe type of a shade. Something kind of like Max Satin Taupe, except it's a little bit more gray and smoky. And I'm going to apply this with the brush that I always use for this and just use it right underneath my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to give a quick curl to my eyelashes. And then go into my eyeliner. I'm going to use the Maybelline Line Stiletto. I've been pulling this out a little bit more recently. I just haven't really used it much, and I've been wanting to a little bit more. Line my upper lash line a little bit. Next, time for my trusty little eyeliner, which needs a bit of a sharpening. So I'm just going to work on that real quick. I'm going to run this. up on my tight line and then onto my waterline. Oh, before I forget, I should probably apply a highlight. I'm going to go into cream, which is right here. And take the brush that I always use for highlighting. Next, moving on to mascara, Buxom Lash. It's crazy because I have so many different mascaras, but I use literally like two of them, which it's kind of wasteful, and I don't like that. I really need to break the habit, but, you know, when you find a product you really like, you just find that you reach for it all the time. Also going to run a bit of this right on my lower lashes. So now for some bronzing, I'm going to use the Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer and then my e.l.f. powder brush, like I tend to do normally. Just run it along my cheekbones, temples, up into my forehead, down my jaw. Next thing we're going to do here is our brows. I'm starting with the MAC. This is, by the way, the brush I always use for my brows. It's the 266 brush. Go into my brow powder duo from Anastasia that I love. Doing my brows is probably one of my least favorite routines that I go through in the morning. I think it's because it never changes. You know, I kind of use these same products because they're the products that work for me. And it's just one of those steps that I wish was like pre-done all the time. Maybelline Great Lash, Clear Mascara. This is just my routine every single day. Next thing is blush. Again, I'm wanting to use something different, but I really just feel like this will complement the look the best. So Santa Rose Lasty Finish Blush. I promise that I will start breaking out and using a few more of my products. I've just been really, really loving this blush lately. I mean, honestly, it's right up there with my Tarn Amazonian Clay Blush. And now time for the part that I am most excited for. I'm going to pair this with a red lip that is a new lipstick purchase that I just actually picked up yesterday. It's from the Maybelline Vivids collection. I have had my eyes on this collection for so long. And I picked up two lipsticks. I picked up this and then the uh, Vivid Rose color. And I really want to get more. I tried them on last night. That's why my lips are a little bit more pigmented than they usually are because it stained my lips a little bit. But... Ah, oh, these are so, so pretty, and so I'm going to be using the shade uh, Neon Red. 
it looks like this. It's just a bright, true, I would say more of an orangey red. When I, when you swatch it, it looks kind of like a really deep blood orange. Before I do anything, I'm gonna start, this is the e.l.f. lip lock pencil. And this is just a clear lip liner. I'll make sure that nothing feathers or creases too badly. It's going to provide like a primer for your lips. And then moving on to the lipstick. I'm so excited. I'm just going straight from the tube and applying this baby. Just a gorgeous, really bright red that, I don't know, I think it looks nice actually with this eye look. I am going to pair this with a bit of a gloss. I'm going to use the Stila Lip Glaze, and this is in the shade Mary Mary. Just going to twist a bit of this out. And yeah, this is the completed look. I think it's sort of pretty and a little bit out there. I really love the bold neon red lip. And the smokier eyes, I really don't use the shade Garnet from the palette too much, but I think that I really do enjoy the way that this eye look turned out. This might be something that I'll wear more because it seems to look really pretty. And then this lipstick, oh my gosh, I am just absolutely in love until it gets all over my teeth. Real quick, I just want to show you guys the outfit that I'm wearing. So this is my big mirror I have in my room. I got this skirt from Target. It's just like a high-low black skirt. And then the shirt is from Target as well. It's just a flowy type of top that has these sleeves that are nice because it's not a super short sleeve, but yet it's not a long sleeve. And I love these little cutouts that it has right here too. So I think that it just looks very feminine and very pretty. And then I just have a white undershirt underneath it. But I kind of like this outfit because it's extremely, extremely comfy. And for today when I'm just going to be doing stuff around the house, I think that it looks quite nice. And then my dramatic makeup. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not going to put this back on my tripod because that just doesn't even seem like a good idea. Uh, so it might be a little bit shaky here on this outro. But thank you for watching this Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoy the look and I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.